This is Battle Vision, the military-inspired tactical sunglasses. And these are Tech Glasses Night Vision, the military-inspired glasses for low light conditions. And this is a freaking reviews, double review. Battle Vision are under the Atomic Beam brand, while Tech Glasses are under the Tech brand, and they've been competing in the so-called tactical market for over a year now in the ASEAN TV field. They have the Tech Light Lantern, Atomic Beam Lantern, Tech Light, Atomic Beam Light. All right, so just to point out, I know I've done several sunglasses like this lately, but that's just how these companies work. When one comes out with something, their competitor comes out with something similar. That's why you've probably seen me review a couple different crisping trays three spin scrubbers, three spin brooms, even a couple of tactical lanterns. Fortunately, I think these are the last ones that are gonna come out for a while, but when something does come out, I'll have a whole bunch of them to compare them to. Let's go over the full alumni of Frequent Reviews glasses. Right here you have Hazuki, which I paid their $94 reading glasses, Dial Vision. These are the only ones I haven't reviewed yet. I actually bought to compare against those. This is the Night View Envy from several years ago. Big Vision, the illustrious Zoomies, in the back row, we've got all the tactical glasses that have advertised. This is Redshift XT, TAC glasses. These two I'm reviewing for the first time. This is Night Vision TAC glasses, Battle Vision, and these are HD Vision Special Ops. I'm not going to really do much with this first row for this review, except for this one. All these I'm going to compare against the Battle Vision, and I'm going to compare this one against the Night Vision TAC glasses. So let's get started. You know, that's actually not too bad of a look, is it? Okay, this is technically a double review of these two glasses, the Battle Vision and the Tech Glasses Night Vision. But I can't really compare the two of them directly because this is for daytime use, this is for nighttime use. So I'm really going to take the Battle Vision and kind of compare it to the other three tactical glasses. I'll compare this to the Night View NV. I can compare the two of them as far as the durability of the frames. I would say the Battle Vision has the most durable feeling frames of all of them. I guess Redshift XT would be the next in line. HD Vision Special Ops, kind of flimsy. Tech Glasses is really flimsy. I would put the Tech Glasses Night Vision in the middle of the pack also. But let's compare how the Battle Vision does against the other tactical glasses with bright light. Here we go, Battle Vision on the left, Tech Glasses on the right. You can see how much darker they are. You can see how the glare looks. Battle Vision left, Tech Glasses right. Battle Vision left, HD Vision Special Ops on the right. Battle Vision left, Redshift XT on the right. The Tech Glasses gives you this card to look through to see the magic of Tech Glasses. Battle Vision gives you this card to see the magic of the Battle Vision Glasses. Let's look through all the glasses and see how much of them have the magic that these two supposedly have. Okay, what do you know? Battle Vision actually reveals Statue of Liberty. Now let's try a different pair of glasses. How about the HD Vision Special Ops? Guess what? That one reveals the Statue of Liberty also. Tech Glasses. Huh. Gee, what do you know? Tech Glasses also reveals it. Redshift XT. Ooh, Redshift XT does not reveal it. Ooh. You lose, Redshift XT. I'm not even sure if the Night Vision Tech Glasses are supposed to reveal anything. It's like kind of there. It's like, it's like a yellow jaundice Statue of Liberty. But it's there. The jaundice version. The regular Tech Glasses. How about the night version of Tech Glasses? Well, I don't think it's as oppressive as the regular Tech Glasses. Battle Vision. And it might even look better than Tech Glasses, actually. And this came with Tech Glasses. HD Vision Special Ops. It's pretty good, too. Let's see, Redshift XT failed last time. How's it going to perform for him this time? Nah. I think this one just got bumped to the bottom of the list. Redshift XT is failing. One thing that I did like about the Battle Vision packaging is that they give you not just one pair, but two pair. Although I probably would have preferred to have the Battle Vision night version as well. I think I paid about 20 bucks for these in the Bullpen website, so that's not bad for two pair of glasses. Now I'm just comparing all four of these. This has kind of a gradiated, like a rainbow tint to it. These are obviously very red. These are very dark, and these kind of have an amber tint to them, so they're all a little bit different. To me, these are only good for driving. They actually brighten everything up but the stylistic they're pretty bad. These are actually kind of too dark for me. These I found better than the other two, but Battle Vision's the new guy in the block. Let's see how he does against the others. One thing I've noticed is when I'm wearing Battle Vision, I'm playing basketball. Now 
Now watch this. Take them off. See what happens? Battle vision. I want to make one more observation also. I'm not really fond of the look of it. See how it's kind of that rainbow mirror look? It looks like something that Doc Brown and Back to the Future might wear. It's not really a style that I particularly like. But it seems like all these tech classes kind of have that style. I will say the battle vision seems to be probably the best constructed of all of them. It seems to have the thicker, stronger frames. That said, they're all kind of cheap plastic frames and they're all kind of cheap lenses. My pick in my last video was the HD Vision Special Ops over the TAC glasses and the Redshift XT. I'd still probably take that one over this one only because although I think that they look the same from my perspective, the way they look from the outside, I'd give the HD Vision a little bit of an edge over this one. I mean, they do look clear. It's a, it's a, like the HD Vision Special Ops, it's slight, a slightly amber tint. It's not as, the tie glasses are way too dark for me. I think this is kind of a nice shade. It is easy to look through. It, it's comfortable to wear. So I have no problem with that. I'm just not big on the style itself. Now, some people say that night driving glasses are not a good idea. In fact, 20 years ago, back in 1997, there was a product called Nightsafe, and the makers of that were fined six figures by the FTC for claims that could not be substantiated that you can see better at night. So some people say that a better solution is to have clear lenses with anti-reflective coating. That said, Night View NV and the Tech Glasses Night Vision supposedly have an anti-reflective coating, which is probably one reason they can advertise. To me, it looks like everything just has a slightly yellow tint. I'm not sure that I see better at night. I mean, right now I'm looking at the headlights up there and they don't seem to have any more or less glare with or without the glasses on. So I'm not, I'm not really convinced that I'm really b gaining much from using these. I gotta cut this guy off. Sorry, dude. I'm not even sure I'm going the right way or not. This doesn't seem, this doesn't even look like it's the right way. Does this seem like the right way to you? That doesn't seem like the right way. You can see with and without with and without. This is the TAC glasses night vision. This is the night view NV. Let's see how different they look. With and without. Do you see a difference in glare? I'm not really sure I see a huge difference. I've been using these for about a week now at night. I really don't prefer to have them on. I actually like when I take them off because I just feel like it's an unnecessary thing to wear. Some people swear by them. I don't think that I do. If you've had glasses like this in the past and you like them, you probably like these. I'm not really convinced yet. Now, what I, the Night View NVs are still in sale in stores. I, I think I picked this up at a Fry's for about 10 bucks. To me, it looks a little bit like you bought a Halloween costume of a 1970s outfit, and this is like the cheap glasses that came with it. These are probably stylish at some point, but not in this century. That said, performance-wise, they're about as good as the TAC Glasses Night Vision. The advertising for both the Battle Vision and the TAC Glasses Night Vision show the spokesman bending them to show how durable they are. Let's test that out. It does feel like it's about to break, but... Well, I twisted it and the lens started coming out of there. That doesn't mean the frame is going to break. You got to be careful the lens doesn't pop out. I mean, I guess, it's, I guess it's kind of doing what they say it's going to do, as long as these cheap lenses don't come out. And they are pretty cheap feeling, by the way. The problem with twisting them is I feel like right there is going to pop out when I twist it a lot. But, you know, I think it kind of, it kind of held up. Let's try the Tech Glasses Night Vision. All right, here we go. It's bending pretty good. Certainly some resistance there. Also, when I twist it, see that? The lens is popping out. And these are also very cheap feeling, too. Anyway, so I, I mean, I, they're kind of holding up the bending test. The lenses are, the cheap lenses are popping out. And they, they do have a limit. I mean, look at this. So I wouldn't suggest twisting these like the commercial or the lenses might pop out. I think they're pretty durable as far as pliable plastic goes. I wouldn't compare them to a heavy duty pair of frames though. Just because they bend doesn't mean they're great. So I've had a chance to wear all these glasses. This one for two weeks, 
The other is for significantly longer, and I would say of the daytime tactical glasses, I would still take the HD Vision Special Ops over the Battle Vision and TAC glasses and Redshift XT. None of them are, are made of high quality materials. All the frames seem kind of cheap, including the night vision. And in fact, even the Night View NV, those frames are super cheap. They feel like something out of a child's toy that you get out of, at a dollar store. I think if you pick them up, your ex expectations aren't too high, you might like them. I don't think these are going to give you any kind of an edge over other glasses in a tactical situation, however. Good girl. Bailey likes them. Battle Vision Bailey. So in the end, I feel like I've said this before, these just seem like kind of like cheap regular sunglasses with a big advertised hype to them. I don't think these are the kind of glasses people in the military wear, despite the advertising implications otherwise. Especially something mirrored like this, you're trying to be stealthy, these are going to give your position away. I'm not really sure that the snipers they show in the commercials are wearing things like this. Have you used Battle Vision by Atomic Beam or the Tac Light Night Vision glasses? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews. Hey, I think I just created the Battle Vision Night Vision version.